TLE6 Agriculture, successful orchard growers in the community or adjacent communities. Here are the objectives. At the end of 50 minutes, 100% of the learners are expected to identify successful orchard growers in the community or adjacent communities. Explain how these orchard growers rose to success. Learning task, preliminary activities, A. Reciting a poem. Letter B review. Number one. Cite some benefits of planting trees. Number two. Name the fruits. Each team will type their answer on the white box. Select your answer from the box below. motivation. Do you know persons in your place who became known for being successful in growing orchards? What made them become who they are? B. Developmental activities, teaching or modeling. The teacher may use PowerPoint presentation and other resources to present some successful orchard growers in the Philippines. If you get to know the success stories of our country's top orchard growers, you would never imagine how they got to where they are now. Their hard work, determination, and will to succeed is truly worth emulating. Here are the successful orchard growers in the country. Edith Dragon Lady Dakoy Koy, 
Riftmat Farms. Manang Edita ventured into the dragon fruit business when she was told how the fruit can help relieve constipation problems, a condition common to cerebral palsy patients. Her daughter, Kate, was suffering from this ailment. Selling at 450 pesos per kilo, dragon fruit was too expensive for Edita, so she decided to raise her own fruits in their backyard. From a small plot, they now own a 10 hectare property. Dubbed as Dragon Lady, Manang Edita, together with her husband and daughter, Mimi Mildred, also expanded their business into dragon fruit ice cream, vegan dragon fruit lumpia, wine, vinegar, and even empanadita, dumplings, and burger patties. Located in Barangay Paayas, Burgos, Ilocos Norte, Rift Mud Farms or the Rare Eagle Forest Marine and Agricultural Development is now an agritourism showcase, offering research and livelihood training to fellow Ilocanos and interested farmers. No less than the President Noy Noy Aquino awarded Manang Edita for her hard work, as well as other well-known awarding bodies. Her farm has a steady market in neighboring provinces in Ilocos Norte and Metro Manila. Dole Philippines orders in bulk while hotels in Ilocos Norte are their regular clients. Alfredo M. Yao, Zesto Corporation Alfredo M. Yao is the juice king of the Philippines also owns a farm in Negros Occidental aside from Zesto Corporation. At 12 years old, he lost his father and grew up doing odd jobs to help his mother feed her family of six children. One of his jobs was working in a warehouse of a packaging company. Encouraged by the promising profitability of a packaging format in Europe, which is the Doi Pack, he bought one and tried to market the machine to local juice manufacturers. When no factory took notice, he made his own fruit juice and launched what was to become one of the biggest local juice brands. Patricio Bassi, Watermelon Production With his 3 hectare plantation of watermelons, honeydew melons, and papaya, he produces crops year-round in Alicia Isabella. He was able to send his four children to college with his earnings. He used to grow rice before venturing into watermelons. He said there was no money in planting rice, but now with melons, one can even hit the jackpot. In July 2013, he planted Diana watermelons in 3,500 square meters and got 12 tons worth 480,000 pesos. Sinin Bacani, La Fuerta Incorporated A former Department of Agriculture or DA head, Mr. Bacani is now the CEO of La Fuerta Incorporated. We excel because we care, is his company's motto. With his eagerness to help his community in Mindanao, he converted his land into a banana plantation that produces 5 to 6 million boxes of Cavendish bananas and exports them to Middle East and other Asian countries. Joseph Calata, Calata Corporation Joseph Calata of Calata Corporation. The Calata Corporation is the country's biggest distributor of agrochemicals, feeds, fertilizers, and seeds. Mr. Calata is the brain behind its success. He is known to be the youngest business tycoon in the country. 
with his belief on the empowerment of agricultural sector as well as in treating their farmers as their best asset, he produces great products. Disiri Duran, Duran Farm and Agribusiness Center. Disiri Duran of Duran Farm and Agribusiness Center. With her desire to earn about farming, Miss Duran involved herself in various agribusiness seminars and trainings. She then converted her land into a tomato plantation and involved her community in the production. Besides producing high-quality fruits and vegetables, the center also trains and teaches farmers on modern agricultural technology. Jose Mercado, Merlo Agricultural Corporation As a young boy, he was already exposed to coffee farming in Batangas. He continues this kind of business because he knew that coffee business will make him successful. It actually gives him a better life. As one of the pioneers in the coffee beans and roasting techniques, he likewise developed his own blend, Café de Lefa, for its flavor and aroma, beside the popular brands Batangas Brew and Kaping Barako. Philip S. Cruz, Herbanex. He owns one of the largest local sources of herbal extracts. He established the Pioneer Herbal Extract Manufacturer in the Philippines and is now exporting herbal extracts in other countries. With that, he is also among the list of famous orchard growers in the Philippines. Paris Uy, Live Green International. He produces organic vegetables and is now distributing fresh organic products across 18 outlets of famous malls and establishments in the country. Orchard farms in the community or adjacent communities. The first one is Senora Pampanga Farm, which is located in San Fernando, Pampanga. It has 1,000 guapo trees, few mango trees, and calamansi. Second is Anon Florida Blanca Farm. It has fruit bearing trees, 600 calamansi. 35 mango, and other assorted fruits. Number 3. Santa Ana Mango Farm Has 50 income generating mango trees and fish pond. Fourth. Mango Farm, Magalang, Pampanga Has mango and other fruit-bearing trees Fifth, Fruit Farm, Mitula Homes, San Fernando, Pampanga This is a dragon fruit farm Guided Practice Activity 1 Direction Type or write the name of the orchard grower below the picture Then check the box that gives the description of the orchard grower You think that was cool?
Activity 2, fill up the graphic organizer of the orchard farms in the community or adjacent communities. Number three, generalization. Who are the successful orchard growers in the community or adjacent communities? How did they become successful in the field of agribusiness? Part four, assessment. Write your opinion to the question that follows. If you are to choose among the successful orchard growers, who do you like best? Why? Part 5. Assignment or Enrichment Research on the other successful orchard growers in the Philippines. Name at least one entrepreneur and make a report about him, her, or them. Share your findings in the class.